Well, hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here. Anyway, um, today I want to talk about the power of being on a mission. You know, since we're coming up to the end of the year, I thought it would be a good thing to talk about this being on a mission idea. Um, you know, many of us are working hard to finalize goals for the end of the year so we can end the year with a bang. Um, if you're on my Avon team, you might be working hard to finalize the Jamaica incentive trip or achieve a sales promotion before the end of the year. And whether you're, and if you're not on my team or whoever, you know, everybody, you may be, uh, no matter what you're doing in your life, you might also be looking to finalize some goals by the end of the year, right? But even at all times throughout the year, it doesn't even have to be the end of the year. This on a mission idea can really make a difference in your life. Um, if you're an Avon representative, or if you're in any kind of home business, or actually any kind of business really, it doesn't matter what it is, this being on a mission concept is what, what it takes to be hugely successful. This is what's going to take you to the next level. But it really comes down to how you live your life in general right? I'm sure you know people who are highly motivated and driven. It seems that no matter what they work on, whether it be a task in their job or their business or doing something around the house, there's a sense of purpose and a mission to what they do. They want to do their very best. They have that purpose and deliberateness behind their actions. And they exude that uh, an attractive kind of confidence that draws you in. Right. But on the other hand, I'm sure you also know people who seem to be going through the motions, you know, and, and that spreads usually to other areas of their life. They kind of just do the bare minimum at work. And then when they get home, they just do enough to make it to the sofa so they can spend the rest, rest of the evening watching TV. And so a lot of times, if you're having a conversation with that kind of person, it usually results in spending a lot of time talking and focusing about what's wrong with life. Um, what is there to complain about? Who has the most things to complain about, right? And that's not fun. So the bad news is that this second type of personality is so easy to fall into. You can become passive and uninterested in life. And within just a few days of practicing this form of behavior, it can quickly become a habit. And um, you have to be really careful about that because it happens so quickly and you have that habit and boom, next thing you know, you're coming home and you're ripping off your bra and you're going straight to the couch to watch TV, right? But the good news is that the first type of personality, the on a mission kind of personality, is just as easy to fall into. The only difference is you have to elevate yourself to that level. It doesn't just happen by default. But you always get to choose which direction you want to take. And by making the choice to be the person who carries herself with a sense of purpose um, or mission is just as easy as choosing the opposite. It is a choice after all, right? So the key is to find things to get charged up about. It doesn't have to be all that complex or complicated. Um, sometimes it can be just really start small. If you find yourself, so for example, if you find yourself lying on the couch when you know you should be doing something productive, it's just as simple as making a decision that you're not going to do this. You know, you can, if you have to, you can force yourself to stand up and pick a task and get started on doing something right? It's that decision. It's more, it's more about being aware. Oh, I really shouldn't be laying here, laying here watching TV when I, I've got this and this and this that I need to do, or this and this and this would really help my business, right? So you make that decision. And if you have to, force yourself to get up. You know, one thing that works, one exercise that you can do that works really well, and, um, and I think it might work for you if you want to try it, is set a 15-minute timer on your smartphone. Pick an activity like cleaning up your office or making follow-up calls or, or um, um, writing that blog post or whatever it is that you need to do, whatever it is that you need to do in your, in your life and in your career, right? And then press the start button. Do your very best work in that 15-minute window to make your office as tidy as possible or to get your blog post written or as many phone calls as you can or whatever it is. But in that 15-minute window, do the, your very best that you can do. Think about nothing else and allow nothing to distract you from that task until you hear the buzzer at the end of the 15 minutes. You know what's probably going to happen, more than likely, is you're going to find that you have, you're, you're now feeling a sense of momentum where you actually want to continue on working until that task is complete, 
right? Because it's the, the problem is is not doing it most of the time. The problem is getting started. So once you get started, you create that momentum. And so if you do that 15 minutes, hey, I'm just going to, for 15 minutes, I'm going to concentrate on doing this and doing it well. Then when that's over, you're going to find well, most of the time you want to finish what you were doing or you want to move on to something else, right? So then pick something new to do. And then the next task seems so much easier and more exciting to take on. And then before you know it, you can spend the whole day operating with this sort of mission mentality and carry it over for weeks at a time. In fact, if you practice this enough, it just becomes part of who you are and it can have a life changing impact. So think about you. Um, how, how, do you how can you develop that sense of mission in your life? A sense of purpose that propels you forward and prevents you from dipping into that rut that's only going to end up frustrating you in the long run. It, it makes all the difference. Having that purpose just makes your life more enjoyable. You get more done. You accomplish more, which it's a self it's a self fulfilling process. Ah, prophecy, right? It's a self fulfilling prophecy. The more successful you are, the more successful you feel. The more confident you are to go out and do more, and then you achieve more success. It's amazing how it works. So, hey, that's what I have for today. How about you? What kinds of things help you get moving? when you need to get into action or, you know, that help you be more on that on a mission type person. Get below and share with us. I would love to hear. I would love to hear your thoughts. And thank you for being here with me today. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.